Your passions, your hobbies, your experiences define who you are. And you shouldn't have to sacrifice fully living, ever. Onagafly, the world's first smart nano drone, helps you capture, share, and experience the most meaningful and exciting moments of your life. Toss Onagafly into the air and instantly be ready to film, throw, and fly. It's that easy. Onagafly's auto follow feature locks onto you and follows you around. You're free to live the experience. With P2P live streaming function, share your Onagafly video live to other mobile devices. Onagafly is highly portable and takes off from the hand with no hassle. You can hover your drone at a particular distance or manually control its flight path. Users of all ages and experience levels can navigate Onagafly effortlessly, both indoors and outdoors. Use smile detection to automatically take the images you want when you want and share the moment right away to your favorite social media. Play with Onagafly, just like playing video games with the Tilt Control Mode. It's designed to capture you from the best angle. With a cutting edge obstacle avoidance technology, Onagafly will automatically detect anything in its path and seamlessly shift direction to escape contact. Its brushless DC electric motor gives Onagafly the longevity of 5,000 hours at only 140 grams. The specs pack a punch. GPS module enables auto follow technology. Wi-Fi module allows for connection with smart devices. Infrared obstacle avoidance senses 360 degrees. Lastly, 15 megapixels camera captures awesome photos. With a Nagafly, you can share your whole world from the palm of your hand. Introducing Arius, the new world's smallest quadcopter. Measuring in at just 3 centimeters long by 3 centimeters wide and a mere 2 centimeters tall, Arius is 25% smaller than our previous record-holding models, the Turbo X and Wallet drone. Each Arius drone comes with an ultra-compact 2.4 gigahertz controller that also stores the tiny quadcopter. The Arius is available in four color choices and color accents to fit your style. Flight time for the Arius is approximately five to seven minutes per 15 to 20 minute charge via the supplied USB cable. The Arius has two speeds, high and low, as well as a headless mode, which allows pilots to lock the orientation of the drone regardless of which way the nose is pointing. This is very helpful with such a tiny quadcopter. The Arius's six axis stabilization and 360 degree rotational capabilities make flying simple and fun. The pre-programmed trick mode allows pilots to perform mid-air flips and rolls with just a simple push of a button. What if you could now capture the bigger picture from any angle, allowing your creativity to soar to new heights, unleashing the true potential of possibility? Stunning aerial images, video and panoramics delivered directly to your smartphone. What if all this was possible from a device that fits in the palm of your hand? Introducing Xano.
When we began work on Xano, our goal was to make aerial photography and video capture truly accessible to everyone. This meant making Xano small and lightweight, yet durable enough to be taken with you anywhere, intelligent enough so no piloting skills are required, and most of all pricing Xano at a point that makes it affordable. Here at Talking Group we know exactly what it takes to deliver a first class product. For years we've been providing solutions in the defence technology sector, specialising in miniature UAVs. We now feel it's time to bring this technology to the consumer. Inside Xano we have a gyroscope, accelerometer, magnetometer, high resolution barometric air pressure sensor, echo sounding sonar, infrared obstacle avoidance systems, GPS sensor, microphone and speaker. It's a lot of technology to put in a very small package. On top of all of that, the onboard microcontroller has all the data fusing and correction algorithms as well as FIR and IIR filters to actually make that information worthwhile. It allows us to make Xano gesture based. You point your phone in a direction, Xano goes there, it holds its position until you instruct otherwise. It really is that simple. Is it a bird? A plane? Nope. It's the world's smallest spy cam. And today, Near Oslo, Norway, this team is taking it farther and faster than it's ever gone before. Something we have tested many times, but not from that far out and, and oh. that high. Paul is the drone's target. He's going to hide about one kilometer away at the top of a small cliff, leaving time for the rest of the team to give the Hornet drone, officially called the PD-100, the once-over. Check the system, see that GPS, everything is, is up and running. Each one weighs only 16 grams. That's the same as three sheets of paper. Within the base station, we have not one, but two self-contained helicopters, which are ready to fly out of the box. Once we're ready to fly and we have the helicopter out, I can hold this here and put the pocket-sized base station in my back pocket. It's ready to go when you're ready. Now I'm just heading out now. It quickly reaches a top speed of about 20 clicks. The smaller and lighter you are able to make it, the more difficult it is, of course, to, to detect. The drone is so stealthy, even our camera has a hard time finding it. But behind its playful appearance is a highly sophisticated military tool containing three cameras. It works actually like a, a pair of, of flying binoculars. The British military uses those flying binoculars to scope out snipers in Afghanistan. They also use it to safely preview what's ahead. Instead of going in with a lot of force, like blowing your way through your walls and stuff, you could stop a couple of hundred meters outside that area, launch the PD-100 and fly over and have a look. The concept came to Petter Muren when he was a kid. I still remember a dream I had that one day I would be able to build something small, that could hover and something I could just maneuver around, land in my hand. Inspired by nature, his early models look like finely crafted insects from the future. One thing led to another and another, and one day, Petter struck a deal with a toy company. Together, we developed the first successful indoor toy helicopter. The Blade Runner was very popular and, and uh, if you include the Ill illegal copies from China, um, it's probably produced in many million copies. Use that dough to help start up Prox Dynamics. The total mission should last for anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. This isn't a toy, it's for real combat. For today's test, they do a small rebuild. We put in slightly stronger motor, we have modified software, and today we, we were testing if these things actually gave more in terms of distance. Worst case, uh, we, we lose on helicopter. Each one costs tens of thousands of dollars. Engineered using Petter's miniatures. Instead of spending time on, on trying to, to make a big thing smaller, we started out with something as small and as light as our target was. It gradually more and more features and, and capabilities put into it. GPS, gyroscope, wireless links, squeezing it all in is an exercise in nano design. It's pretty amazing uh, and the most challenging part of uh, this development. And there are engineering trade-offs. I'm a little bit concerned that as we approach the top, we may have a little bit of turbulence from the uh, wind yep, yep. striking in the thermals there. Wind can be a problem. So can you notice there that we have the side of yep. the, uh, 
the cliff there and we can use that for some visual guidance as well. Mission accomplished. They've located their target hiding on the top of the cliff. Now it's just a matter of getting it safely home. Yeah, that's uh, concentrating on that now. Can do a uh, full speed flight home. They punch in their GPS location and the autopilot will bring the drone back to base in record time. So um, they are pretty happy. We, we had been flying far out and, and high up, but uh, the combination is, uh, is uh, the first time we've been able to, to do. The Black Hornet went 1,300 meters. That's farther than ever before. But uh, still, it's, uh, it's always uh, something to, to put in, uh, in the history book. Sometimes dreams do come true. There we go. Good.